Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Return of Cyrus while we continue to wait out this um, regency. So just gonna continue to develop our territory and that's basically it. There's not a whole lot we can really do. However, I am not fond of somebody trying to besiege my turret. Okay, we are going to be apparently engaging in a war um, against the Abbasids as a whole. So, um, that's a thing, apparently. Uh, I do not actually plan to take part in this. I am going to sit on the sidelines as much as possible. I am, however, going to go ahead and hide my retinue in Tibet. And hope this 12k stack of Abbasid manpower does not decide to actually step into Tibet. So because of this, I'm going to be slowing down the game. I was hoping to just try and plow through this, but that is evidently not going to be the case. So we will just wait to see what happens. Hopefully somebody sends an army over here to kill that 9k stack, although there is a... Oh, never mind, okay. Yeah, that 9k stack looks to be the largest Abbasid force on the field. That's at least directly controlled by the Abbasids and not any of their million vassals. Um, it does not really matter to me if we win or lose this, because I don't really benefit from it either way. However, if we do lose this, I am hopeful that the uh, Badshah will proceed to take away um, my liege's territory. At least to some capacity. That would be wonderful. Uh, some stuff's going on down in Tibet. I'm honestly not really paying attention to it. Because I don't really care for it. Get a non-aggression pact insured with this guy. Not like he can actually attack us, though. He is... Yeah. There's no reason to say no to that, and there was no reason really to say yes to it either, if we're being honest. But I'm still happy he said yes. Could it do? I could attempt to... F I could form an alliance with you, but I'm pretty sure it means nothing. Because I don't think we can actually support one another. Since, you know, I'm not independent and we're not underneath the same uh, liege. So, you know, unless he has gained your independence or something and proceeded to declare fealty to the Abbasids, which, I mean, I kind of doubt you'll do. And even then, that requires you to be placed under the same liege as me. Uh, yeah. You're, you're not going to be doing that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Oh, out of curiosity, who's the claimants here? Okay, so yeah, if when you die, your nephew is going to take control, but he is not technically... He does not technically have a claim on that territory. He also will not have a claim on Tibet. Unless you... Presumably unless you press the claim. I actually don't quite know how that works in this case. Yours is a weak claim. Uh, yep. And half-sister was killed by her husband. I'm going to assume because... Well, I mean, it's possible because she was pregnant, but I don't think that was the case. <laughs> That'd be a little weird. Um, I'm going to assume it's because she's 39, and he's like, that's a little old for me. And I guess maybe Buddhist doesn't allow... Um, divorces so or he didn't want to pay for one 
one of the two, I'm not quite sure which. Darzab yet again, people who take control of that never manage to do anything. I'm going to hit the game with the force speed while I wait for this to go through. I'm not planning to participate, I just want to keep my retinue safe. So as long as my retinue is safe, I don't really care how this war goes. Also, I assume no longer to have an alliance with you. That would be correct. We're going to make you military genius, and it's... I am contemplating, honestly, having you potentially marry your brother. Uh, but we shall see what ends up actually happening. But like I said, I am contemplating potentially doing that. Perfect. Continue to improve his opinion of me. So, as far as I can tell, I don't think this event actually does anything. It's just a, would you rather lose gold or prestige? To be honest, so the gold will take us a little while to get back. Same with the prestige, I'll admit. But the prestige doesn't really affect me too much, so it's too expensive. Now, if that made it so that the territory prospered, if you decided to say, okay, I'll lose the money, I would be okay with that, and I would have probably gone for the money, but because I don't want to lose money that I could be spending on developing my territory, I'd rather not. Uh, go for lose the money. Oh, does Tibet actually care that I have my troops standing? No, okay, good. I figured they didn't, I just wasn't sure. Because I've honestly never really paid attention to it. Ten more years. Okay, this is probably going to have to wait. I don't think we're going to get through 10 years in this part, especially because this war will probably drag on for a while. They normally do. The AI is not particularly great at fighting wars, uh, especially against other AI. News from China, there's battles going on over there. Uh, we converted our court physician to Zoroastrian. I don't really care about converting my courtiers. I care more for converting the county. May lead to brooding. I'm pretty sure brooding gives you an increase to martial, I think it is. Right, no, it's intrigue. Well, you know what? I'm okay with gaining the Intrigue. Yeah, the only thing we can upgrade in Jerusalem is the camel riding thing. Uh, surprisingly, we have not had the Black Death arrive yet. I played a test game and it arrived well before this, I'm pretty sure. It was sometime, I think, earlier in the 900s. That I buy him some better surgical tools so that he will be able to perform more advanced procedures. Sure. That just also requires you to still be my court physician because, you know, when you die, apparently I don't reuse the damn tools.
Let's upgrade your castle fortifications. Good. Continue to improve my liege's opinion of me. However, well, he's winning, so he'll still be my liege. I'm gonna say it's possible that he won't be my liege for long, but no, if he's winning, he's that's not gonna be an issue. Uh, Antioch has switched to Sunni. Antioch, why the hell do I care about Antioch game? I don't own Antioch. I'm pretty sure you were shown that under the high priority messages. That's not really a high priority message to me. That they switched to Sunni. That was one. I can now recreate the title Duchy of Jerusalem. I would have to declare the war on you to take that. That's definitely not worth it right now, but maybe later. You also gained your independence because I, I frankly don't know. For whatever reason, this just happens. I've noticed it in the past where things that don't evidently indicate that, or obviously indicate that you will gain your independence, sometimes it results in vassals just magically gaining their independence. Oops, wrong button. Uh, nothing I can really do there. Wait. Oh, hey, I can actually improve the uh, trade offices here in Merv if I had the money. That might actually be useful. Uh, that's a little bit more monthly prestige and retinue size. Oh, yes, also, let's bring our retinue back home. there. Oh, uh, you go to Constantinople. See if you can study some tech there. Maybe do something useful with it. I'm going to place somebody who's slightly better at the job there. And he's literally only slightly better, but, you know, it's still something. Mer, let's go ahead and improve this some more prestige and uh, retinue size is nice. Bulk prospers, but doesn't actually gain a bonus to prosperity. And I am suffering chest pain. We might end up be moving on to Muzaffar sooner than expected. Oh, well, maybe not. And I have a cough. Yeah, we might be moving over to our nephew sooner than expected. And we have a fever. Seek treatment for illness. Do your best to treat the symptoms. I'm not sure that did anything. And Legion's council is discontent. And he is fighting a war down there for something. Admittedly, I switching to Mozafar, he's actually pretty good. Um, and plus he's already of age, so that's a nice bonus. And we have pneumonia. Do as necessary. I feel better. Wow, okay. I expected that to kill us. Yeah, we won't be alive for very long if we have pneumonia. Also, wow, minus 50% fertility. That's exactly what I needed, game. 
on my eight-year-old ruler who still has eight years before he can even try to have kids. Well, I guess it's eight years to find some cure for pneumonia. Good luck with that. I don't know why the game's telling me that I can close my game. Oh, well, no, it's not actually telling me that. It's just it's marked as a decision to tell me about whenever it's potentially relevant. There are some factions out here. I would love for you to take control of Coruscant. That would be very nice. Fussy, that is stewardship, that is actually nice. There we go, now we are technically at 7 out of 7. So we are no longer losing out on some of our income. Zoom out and kick the game back up to max speed. I'll agree, this guy is a potential threat. That is very much true. Oh wow, okay, yep, he's marrying his sister. He's taking advantage of the whole Zoroastrian allows you to marry your sister thing. Trade offices in Merv have been upgraded to, I guess, actual trade offices. Yes, they are indeed actual trade offices now. Same as the ones we have in Jerusalem. So, hire some more retinue. That's another 250 standing army. And my uncle has died placing Muzaffar as both my heir and regent what's the worst that could happen and yes you are going to be marrying your sister uh, let's see I've never seen this event like Ahura Mazda and um Spandamad at the time of creation, Mozafar and his sister Salome have got married under the blessed auspices eh, a species of Zuedoda, I guess. Ensuring fullness and order, we can collect royal aid, duty to pay for the ceremonies. Yeah, yes. Take the money, thank you very much. We've never actually had any of our people marry their sister before, so first time I saw that event. I generally try and avoid the whole incest thing. It has the potential to result in Habsburgs. If you let it go far enough. But that's a case where it's actually probably a good thing. It's gonna make you guys really good at military, that you'll be absolute crap at stewardship. But maybe that'll help us. The council will vote no if I attempt to imprison this guy. What the hell is he trying to do? Oh, he's trying to fabricate a claim of my territory. Fuck you. I'm marking you as a person of interest and I'm probably going to plot to have you assassinated at the first opportunity. Oh, so my council is actually happy with me. I should note that. 
They just refused to go to war. Uh, yes to getting the castle town up in Diza, or Diza, or however it's pronounced. I assume it's Diza, considering it's D-I-Z-A. Got a nice stockpile of money. My mana can have its castle town upgraded further for a bit extra income, which is not a terrible thing, or I could upgrade the keep for an additional 15% um, garrison size and levy size. I'll take the extra levy. I think I'll get more use out of that overall. Look at that, 8,000 troops I could raise right now. Well, I could once we're actually at our max. Uh, I will take Haughty, yes, for the additional marshal and continue to improve our liege's opinion of us. Now, he would never agree to a marriage between me and his children. Also, technically my character's already betrothed, so never mind. Uh, what happened to you? You died of consumption. Well, at least you weren't captured. I guess that is a bon it is Constantinople suffering consumption right now. Nope. You just happen to somehow contract it. Oh, and we have another revolt going. Uh, this time against the tyranny of the Bad Shah, which, again, this could result in our independence. We've had this happen before. Uh, we shall see what happens. I would not complain about an independence thing happening. It could very much be useful. Also, I should probably maybe plot to kill my liege. He's not particularly great. And if he dies... Well, so I'm hopeful if this does result in independence occurring, it basically splinters up into a bunch of smaller factions rather than just one big one held by this guy. If we end up with a couple of smaller factions with him being the biggest of them, he will lose out on a lot of those vassals levies that he's able to raise and I might actually be able to fight him. Now we do have a bit of a problem over here so let's go ahead and raise our troops. Um, except for you. Don't need you being raised. Uh, you're not really too big of a deal. You know, but you managed to make it on time, so I'll send you along as well. Get rid of that host, because I don't need them raiding my damn territory. It's my territory. I don't need it being weakened by some random... You know what? Ah, damn it came. Let's get the writing grounds upgraded on, uh, or at, uh, Talakan, or however it's pronounced. Oh, I need a commander, apparently. I'm not gonna make my nephew my commander, thank you very much.
And please have lots of kids, the two of you. Lots and lots of kids. Because our family's a little on the small side. We only have six living members. Yeah, we need to get our numbers up, so we're going to do a matrilineal marriage again. So we're just basically with anybody who's not absolute garbage. You're really good. Matrilineal marriage with you. Have lots of kids, the two of you. You're weak, so it's... Uh, but he's lustful, which more than makes up for it. News from China, somebody got their ass beat again. It's kind of usual, as we've observed. For whatever reason, people think they can manage to successfully fight the Western Protectorate, only to lose. So it's really not a shock to me that they lost. It's happened before, and it keeps happening. Yeah, that ain't gonna go well for you. I might need to have my retinue flee again. No game, I know my guy has a bonus for intrigue, but I don't really need the intrigue. I want the damn marshal. Marshal's more important to me. Okay. Well, if our revolt's wonderful, potentially. The people of where? Again, game, why are you telling me about places that aren't mine? I'm pretty sure you're telling me about places that are not mine. So Jerusalem is Sunni, which I would love to change, but it's kind of hard for me to do right now. Yeah, I don't care about Alberti. It's not my territory. It means nothing to me. Also, because this guy is yet again failing miserably at his one job, let's reset him yet again, and maybe he'll succeed for once. It is slightly on getting on my nerves that it's taking so long to convert. Though I understand that there's a number of reasons for that, one of which is that we are technically a heresy religion, and those take forever to do conversions. So even though this guy has a 5.62% uh, chance every year to convert the county uh, religion, because we are technically a heretic, that is, I don't think, taken into account here. And so it's actually a lot lower than that. But resetting, sometimes the game, redo the calculations and fix it. And actually make it so you succeed. Which is always nice. Upgrade those stables. Not like I can actually press that, but I wouldn't complain if I could would not mind getting a little bit extra territory. And hey, at least we got Jerusalem back. Because for whatever reason our liege was, or the bad shot was forced to destroy that title after that previous war, or revolt rather. Because our character is not particularly at stewardship, it's going to negatively affect our income. Kind of wish your thing was not heritage. I wish it was something useful. And 
there's my timer. That guy's buying favors. You are rivals with the Emperor of Tibet. Wait, are you on your third wife? Oh no, okay, second wife. Never mind, okay. I thought you were on your third one, I don't know why. Well, when you die, my nephew takes over. We have three more years. So next part, we will be leaving this regency and taking direct control over our territory. Um, this war will hopefully end, in, or this revolt rather, will hopefully end next part. And we shall see how it decides to end. I would not complain about it resulting in independence. Um, but though, preferably I would still be underneath um, Azam the Just. Uh, just for the simple fact that if I end up independent and he ends up independent, I would much prefer to be under him at least. Uh, so that I can potentially snag the Sultanate of Coruscant. If I'm independent and he's independent, it's a little bit more difficult, I think. Uh, but that is going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time. Uh, quick reminder, if you enjoy the content on the channel, the easiest and best way to help support the channel is to go and become a patron, which you can find a link to down in the description. Or you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description. For as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to all my videos. You will also get priority access for getting your character, or, or getting a character in-game named after you if you fill out the requisite uh, Google form that I use to keep track of that stuff. But until next time, a goodbye and farewell. And it's been a while since I said this. Subscribe, share, and I will see you all next time. But until then, a goodbye and farewell.